Hello everyone. Today we came here uh, Samchok City. Uh, Samchok City. This right here, I'm at the Samchok uh, Seaport. Used to be a very important place to protect Korea from Japanese pirates. Uh, but once it was like a really uh, sort of like an important seaport in the East Sea. But now we have become a very small seaport. So you can see like very small but peaceful like uh, the village right there. So I'm gonna show you some of the beautiful places in Samchok. It's windy, cold, but I'm gonna show you. So please follow me, okay? Samchok city, there are a few uh, very beautiful beaches here. And this one is called Yonghwa Beach. Please look here. This is a Yonghwa Beach and it's really beautiful. Uh, and then the city have built, have made a few like tourist attraction, which is the rail bike actually start from Gungchon station and arrive here. And they also built uh, the cable car. It's start from here and go to the another Changho, the beach. So it's a really scenic area. So we go check out the Changho area too. But first, uh, Yonghwa, this area. There's a beautiful bridge. Let's go check it out, okay? So okay, we've seen this beautiful Changho seaport and see, the beach is beautiful. I mean, it's cold, it's windy today, <laughs> today and in winter. <laughs> but if you come here in the summertime, it's really beautiful and there's a lot of water, water activity. For example, over here, there a lot of people do snorkeling and then do a lot of like canoeing. So it's really, really a beautiful and fun place to come in the summertime. But winter time, it's still nice to see the scenery. It's just today, windy and cold, okay? But it's beautiful, look here, wow. Water so clean, huh? <laughs> so, okay guys, so I came here, Heshindang Park. Heshindang is a shrine, which is right here behind me. I was, there's a little bit of story about 500 years ago. There's two girls who were supposed to get married. Uh, and then she went uh, to the island. She was uh, collecting the seaweed. And then because of typhoon, she got drowned. But he was not able to uh, like save her because of typhoon. Anyway, so ever since then, the people who've lived here were not able to uh, catch uh, and, like a lot of fish. And then like, you know, people who go on to uh, go uh, to the sea f fishing and will not, a lot of people die. So people are thinking maybe because of, you know, this lady who died and this, uh, you know, drowned it. So that's when the villager, people built this shrine. They uh, also put a lot of like, you know, this uh, penis uh, shape, uh, wood. And ever since then, they said that people were safe, they go in fishing and then they catch a lot of fish. So this is the, uh, the shrine for that. And then they built really big park here and here you can see the life of like a fisherman in Korea but also it's got lots of sculptures of this uh, penis, uh, penis right? <laughs> so let's go check it out alright?
And this museum is a pretty nice. This uh, you can learn about fishing life in Korea from the past time to the present days. So some places also like here you can experience like you know that's how. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's really really nice uh, fishing in the museum. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will see you later. Uh, it was a really great trip coming here at Samtok. I'm right here in a sea diver's uniform. I'm wearing a sea diver's uniform. You know the sea diver going to the sea uh, as deep as like 50 meters. Sometimes someone goes under, under the sea for like 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you later <laughs> in another beautiful place in Korea. Bye bye!